Mm. Okay, so uh, you worked with David yeah. on the anti-stigma project. So how did that come about? Uh, well, it came about from you, Stuart, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, you kind of really, kind of, I don't know, you felt, felt like you kind of like dropped me in the deep end to a point, you know, and I wasn't a bad thing, you know, it was... Uh, you know, it was doing something about anti-stigma within the in the in the Asian community. You know, and given the you know his campaign, like you know, it's worth. You know, everybody needs that kind of help, regardless of what you know, colour, creed, religion you are. So you know, going there to film. You know, him speaking to the Asian community and asking these questions, like you know, I felt it was quite an honour and a privilege. So how did you how did you feel that first day when you were turned up to go and do it? Honestly, I was on my knees of the toilet, chucking my guts up because I was so anxious, and I think that's kind of not knowing what they were expecting from me, not knowing what I was expecting from them, and I think the overall emotions just kind of just got to me, and yeah, I was doubled over and. Yeah. Did you feel after you'd done the filming? Oh my god, I was buzzing. Yeah, it was. I felt pride, and I was proud of myself. A, it was an insight, a good insight to, you know, a different culture and how they interpret it, mental health within themselves, and to be able to be a part of that, you know, and get the video footage that I needed, you know, yeah, it was. It's so excited about it all and you know come away you know feeling a lot better than what I did <laughs> going in the morning you know so yeah so you've now got the challenge of I know you started work on the editing process so what's what's that been what's that been like in terms of as a, as a learning experience that is the challenging part you know the going out of filming actually seems quite more relatively easy than it is to doing the editing because I have the B-roll footage to use. I've got interviews, I've got audio interviews, and it's trying to piece all them together uh, so that it can be presented in a way that, you know, people can understand from a, you know from the Asian community's point of view how they're dealing with their um, mental health and now they're getting around it and and it's just hoping that, you know, I can piece it all together and do it justice. So, when it comes to the South Asian community and around mental health, I think some of the biggest barriers are, if you were to ask a lot of people in the community, it doesn't exist, which, which is not true. But um, I think it is a taboo subject. People don't really want to talk about it. Um, people are quite hesitant in talking about it. People um, rather sweep it under the carpet uh, than actually start talking and having that those conversations around mental health. Um, I think those are the, that's kind of one of the biggest issues that you have. In reality, mental health exists. I'm. I'm from a South Asian um, background and uh, I just wanted to talk about mental health today. First of all, what does mental health mean to me? What do I prefer to call it? Personally, um, I don't give that much thought. To me, I've suffered with it for years, but sadly, I wasn't made aware of what it was. I understood what it was till a lot later in life. Um, so that was difficult because in the South Asian communities and a lot of communities actually mental health is not talked about it's ignored it's dismissed and it's often labeled as something else I'm hoping you know word will get out a like I say it doesn't matter what religion your culture you know, we're all human beings at the end of the day. We all have that same sort of issues, same sort of problems, you know, whether they're easy to other people to deal with or, you know, and what people find hard in their lives. We we all need to come together and that's what I hope it brings out is people coming together 
and helping people out in the best way to help sort their mental health out.